Good evening. So after um, making a little video a week or so ago about how to use easy polls um, to organize chases and, and Blade Runner, for example, so as a, as a replacement for card selection and then re revelation, I thought I would actually um, now show you a new module that Stefush has made. He's the, the developer behind the Blade Runner module and the Twilight 2000 one. And he's created this simultaneous cards module, which has come out this week. And um, I did a little play with it, and I'm going to show just what it can do. And if, if there's interest, if you want me to show exactly how to set up the deck, etc., then leave me a comment, yeah, ask for it, then I can make it. I only have a few minutes now, so I just thought I'd show you this. Um, so what I've done is I've created, let me just push this off to the side, created a, a foundry uh, world of Blade Runner again. And I've got three characters. This one is a baddie, just yeah, because I'm the GM. And I've got a, a, another player logged on on another, on another browser who owns these other characters. So what you do in a combat scene, for example, you select everybody who's in there, multi-select. And then on the left hand side, after you enable this module, you get this simultaneous cards uh, module. You click on it, you then can pick which deck people should be choosing from. So I made one called Chase Maneuvers. Again, if you want to know how I made it, leave me a comment and I'll show you in another video. Click on OK. And what happens is then this. So um, you get this pop-up. I'm not quite sure what happens with the layout here, but you, you can work with it. And you can see that both the characters here, Olsen and Novak, are actually owned by player two. And the game master owns this one. So I can then say, OK, these people are included or not included. They have to select a card or not, and who selects for them. It's all pre-populated. You don't have to fiddle about with it. I then press Start, and you can now see as a GM, I get this window here and say, OK, um, click on the deck you've configured. And this is a bit small to see, I reckon. Let me see whether I can get this. No, you can't, because it's the Foundry app. You can't zoom in. So I've basically grabbed from the assets in the module again, if you want to know where they are, I can show you um, the six cards, the six maneuvers. And I can just about read them. Um, and I, for example, choose, OK, the baddie is doing a stand and shoot. That's my view. I'm now going to switch you across to the, to the player view and show you what it looks like over here. So this is the player view. And you basically get the same pop up, but for every character you as a player control, you can choose a different card across here. Doesn't make sense to have more than one as a player, but hey, just for demonstration. So I say Olsen is going to pursue or flee and Novak is going to hide. Let's say they're being chased. You can see that the GM choice is just showing the back of the card. So it's a secret choice. And it says ready to validate. So basically you've made all the choices you want to make. So again, the GM now can only see that the choices have been made for the characters, but not what they are. And in the next moment here, if I click validate choices, you get a message as a player, game, a game master validated all choices. And here as a GM, I can click on reveal individually or reveal all. So what you can, can now see is here in the in the chat, um, the cards are now revealed. It says which character they apply to. It says which player chose it. Uh, oh, sorry, who can see it, who's been revealed to. And that basically is much neater or much more pleasing, visually pleasing way of doing this than uh, using the easy polls. What's also good, the GM makes a secret choice. And as one commenter said on the easy polls, but the GM couldn't actually enter a choice that eliminates the doubt of GM uh, fudging. Not that a GM would ever do that. Yeah, but actually, if a problem, if a player has a problem with me occasionally as a GM fudging something, then they are probably not the player who wants to play with me. Let's put it that way. Anyway, short demo. This is what the module does. How it does it, um, I can show you in another video if you're interested. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, and I know that you want to see it. Thank you very much for now. See you next time.